I hear that the biggest self is obviously where we want to be, mm -hmm. but we're also human. So yeah. I think, correct me if I'm wrong, we're always going to have the, the little oh, totally. self yeah. and the biggest self. But yeah. we want to, what, live mostly in the... Yeah. So how do those two, what you're yeah. asking is how do those two things like... Um, like exist together. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. And you're right. So it's not about like crushing the little S self, right? There are some traditions that are like, you have to, you basically kill the ego mind. And um, so we're human and you came into embodiment to experience to be a human. human. <laughs> so let's be human. <laughs> exactly. So the big, the little S self is valuable. Yeah. It actually will, um, it's, that limitation of the small S self is important to transcend, mm. right? To experience like all the like, ah, that we have, right? To have something to transcend and then to fill all those emotions and all the phys physical sensations and all that stuff is important. Because just imagine if you're floating around as disembodied consciousness, so you don't have access to all of that information. So in a way, it's this kind of, this amazing gift to be able to transcend all of that very intense information that's coming at us. Mm. So the little as self, to go back to your question, is not something that is invalu like unvaluable. Is that right? Yeah. Not valuable. Mm. It, it's something that we're going to have probably until we die. So it's not about negating it completely. It's about cultivating the big S self in addition and being able to walk between the worlds. So meaning that to have the distance from your small S self to know, okay, I'm just having like a little emotional breakdown here. Okay, whatever. I'm just going to have it. I'm just being human. That's all right. But you have the bigger perspective of that little meltdown yeah. to give you growth or context or, you know, whatever that you need to learn from it. So it's just about um, having a different perspective and this knowingness that your little S self is there to help you grow to some degree and that to not take it too seriously. You know, it's just your ego mind. <laughs> yeah, that's, that makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah. holding both. Yeah. Yeah, and so I think of the uh, lyrics for some reason from this Bob Marley song, now you get what you want. Do you want more? Yeah. Because that's kind of what we do, right? You yeah. Even a piece of cake and you're like, oh, that was so good. Why can't we just stop? Yeah. And like enjoy, enjoy. and be present. And yeah. But no, we want more and more and more. And then yeah. that grows and things. Yeah. And then we keep wanting to eat, 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 eat. Yeah. And it's not just consume food. It's consume anything. Everything and anything. Yeah, and everything. Yeah, exactly. Because you're trying to fill physically... Because what, what is that a mirror of? You're trying to fill the completeness that you don't feel on spirit level. Yes. You're seeking actually what, what you don't really realize in that consumption, whether it's like physical eating or buying of things. You're trying to feel this completeness of the big S self, of yourself as infinite indestructible consciousness. Because if you're infinite, there's no, there's nothing missing. You don't need anything. Yeah, it's complete. You're already full. Exactly. There is nothing else to consume. It's yeah. just like it's already implicitly complete. And when we start to mirror that on the physical level, that's when it gets really exciting because then we don't need things outside of ourselves like to make us happy and we can enjoy them in a different way because we're not attached to them. Mm -hmm. So for example, you want that new awesome car fantastic get the awesome car you're not attached to it it doesn't mean anything to you it doesn't mean like if i get the car then i'm successful then i have this thing that i've been yearning for because it means something about me it's just like i get to have this awesome experience here i am enjoying it having fun and then some other experience you know what i mean yeah then it's not like don't enjoy things, things. now because yeah. that means you're connected to your little self, self or something. Yeah. yeah it just means that you can enjoy it from a clearer place right because it doesn't mean anything yeah it's in the sense of like who you are your success, you know what I mean? Your identity isn't formed yes. around ha acquiring that thing. Yes. You actually are complete in yourself. And it, the experience of that thing is joyful. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. So mm -hmm. it's, it clarifies um, the, um, I guess, experiences of having or owning things or whatever. Mm -hmm. It doesn't really matter. Yeah, it's a I get the image of like kind of you looking down on you. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So there's the biggest self mm -hmm. and there's a the little living together. Yeah. You're, you're constantly zooming out and yeah. watching yes. you as a human do yes. this thing, right? Yeah. yeah. And what's really cool is that as you cultivate that, um, you'll get to actually cultivate something I call spherical awareness, mm -hmm. which is you'll be able to hold multiple points of awareness at the same time. Okay, because as humans, we're used to cultivating like this kind of perspective, right? So you're looking forward because mm -hmm. you're looking out of your physical eyes. And then as you start to buoy up in your frequency resonance, not everybody, and some people will see and some people will feel, yeah, yeah. okay? It doesn't matter which one it is. They're both fine. Um, there's not one is better than the other. But you'll actually feel yourself from multiple perspectives, meaning there's the you interacting. Like, for example, you're looking out at a window, of a window out, through a window, excuse me, mm -hmm. at something beautiful. Okay, you'll have the perspective, a flash of 
you looking at the thing that you're looking at, so your sunset, mm -hmm. the perspective of you from above looking at self, and then it might back up even more, right? And you'll see even greater perspective of that, right? So you get to see multiple things, and it's not like, it sounds like it could be scary or schizophrenic. It's not because it's very clear when you receive that kind of information and it's not overwhelming. It's more like a feeling sense or feeling seeing sense or for some, I guess, a seeing. Mm -hmm. For me, it's a combination. It depends on who you are. But the, that kind of perspective, it's interesting. It gives you more clarity, mm -hmm. right? Because then all of a sudden the thing that you're experiencing is beautiful and wonderful and it's such a tiny aspect. Yes. Of, of the, the greater. greater. Yeah. And which does come back around to... The scarcity thing because mm -hmm. you feel way more whole because yeah. you're part of a larger thing you've exactly. got to zoom out yeah or you or you just lose it yeah 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 and um the thing about zooming out is that as you the key thing is if you zoom out and it's important to remember to be aware of your body okay because you can zoom out and then lose awareness of the physical body, which is what I used to do a lot, which can be really destabilizing because if you zoom, like have that perspective where you zoom out and then look down without being aware of your body, you can exit the body, which means that um, it's less stable for you in terms of being in um, the zero point of space and time, mm -hmm. okay? Which is important because if you're not in that zero point of space and time, it's harder for you to create your reality more efficiently. You have to keep some part of your attention in your physical body. So even if you like you pinch your finger or you like curl your little toe or whatever, yes. it's important to keep some part of your awareness in the body. And for people like me and I think you as well, it's easy for us to go pick, pick picture and then lose the body, like where the body is sort sure. of, yeah? So it's important to stay in the body. Also, if you leave your body, other things can come in. So you want to stay anchored a little bit. A fragment of your consciousness needs to stay in your body. Even if you want it, you can, it doesn't matter to me if you zoom to the ends of the universe, multiverses. Keep a little aspect of your consciousness in the body. Sure. Oh, I'm glad you mentioned that.